What's up, you guys? Yes, we're back. We are. So today we're going to be talking about our experience with the Chloe Ting two-week ab challenge. No. All right, so in case you haven't been on TikTok or YouTube or really anything lately, during quarantine, people have been trying to lose weight, to get abs, to just make healthier habits. And one of the ways they're doing that is through Chloe Ting's two-week ab shred or through a bunch of other videos that Chloe Ting or other fitness YouTubers post. So basically the two-week ab challenge is Chloe Ting, she posted a ton of ab workouts and body workouts and things and she made like a schedule of how to do them in order to maximize your results. We'll link it down in the description below. I highly, I highly recommend. Yeah, as much as I hated it, I did see results. Chloe Ting would affect two different body types and two different levels of activity. So like I'm a bit thicker, she's a bit thinner, and I'm a bit more active, she's a bit more less active. Lazy. <laughs> um, we're, we were actually like really hyped to start it, and the first few days it was hard, but we were like excited. It got so bad. <laughs> we'll get there, but cut to the cups of the first day. So we just took our measurements and we did our before videos. We're about to start day one of Chloe Ting's two-week ab shred. Oh dear. <laughs> We're scared. We'll give you guys updates along the way and I guess cut to the B-roll. So basically we took a time lapse and it looks really crazy and it went a little faster than we expected it to. But uh, yeah, here's us working out on the very first day. It was really rough, but we got through it. <laughs> I'm so oh. sorry for what you guys just went through. Yeah, I'm sorry kids. Hope you enjoyed me screaming. That's never happened before. Yeah. Oh. Um, we just finished day one. Okay, so after the first few days, we were kind of losing momentum. We were getting like really tired. The workouts were really hard. Our bodies were aching. Yeah, my body hurt so bad. I had to sit with a heating pad on my back for the longest time. It yeah. was so bad. And then by the end, I literally, I had no motivation. I almost quit, but this thing She went did, on. she almost quit. So at the beginning of this challenge, I told myself I would still do cardio every day because I'm, I like cardio. I hate cardio. <laughs> I do about 30 minutes on the treadmill or I go for a walk or run or do the elliptical. And I told myself I would keep doing that because I'm in the middle of like a weight loss thing right now and I don't, didn't want to mess that up because I knew with the Chloe Ting challenge, I'd just be putting on muscle, AKA getting weight. So I wanted to keep up with my fat loss too. But after like the first two days, I knew that was like unrealistic. It was, mm -hmm. it was a lot of work for my body. Mainly because I had like no experience with ab workouts, except I did like 30 sit-ups a night. Yeah. And all our results, we did not change our eating. We didn't change what we drink. We didn't really change anything except adding these workouts in. Uh, well, I guess I kind of changed. I did a little bit less cardio than I normally do. Yeah. But that was the only thing I changed. I didn't change anything. I did drink a little bit more water, but that was because I was thirsty after workout. Oh, workout. Um, so yeah, cut to some more clips of us struggling. Okay guys, so we're on day four of Chloe Ting. My face looks really round right now, I'm sorry. Can you not get my thighs? <laughs> um, day three was really, really hard. I felt it. I felt sick today, actually. It was rough. Yeah, I almost vomited. So today we're going for day four. We have three videos today and then tomorrow's a rest day, thank God. Okay, so we just did Chloe Ting day six. Day six was actually a lot harder than some of the previous days, which is no, weird. really hard. Yeah, I think it was Chloe Ting. Conspiracy theory. <laughs> Conspiracy theory, hey, what's up you guys? Yes, so I think that Chloe Ting gives you a rest day so that you appreciate how hard it is when you skip a day. Ooh, the sun's coming out, she's blinding. So yeah, today was day six. I'm feeling pretty good though. I feel like muscular. I can see the muscle coming out in my thigh. I wouldn't be surprised if I actually gained inches on my thigh. Yeah, my thighs feel really like thick. I can't even like squat to pick up a dog or a cat. It hurts so bad. Yeah. I can like, when I flex my thigh, I can see the muscle bulge out on top. So that's fun. Okay, we'll see you guys tomorrow for day seven. seven. Six, seven. seven? Seven, a whole week of doing it tomorrow, woo! All right guys, we're on Chloe Tang day seven. We look really worn out because we are, we had a really long day. It's, it's just gonna get longer. It's like 10 p.m. right now. And we are not failing on this workout. We wanna do it all the way through without skipping any days. So, we hope you enjoy. I look so bad. <laughs> Holy <laughs> cow. You look good. We'll talk to you guys after. Today is four whole videos, which is gonna be rough. 
Um, okay, so one of the things that kind of messed us up in this challenge was around, I think it was day 10. We, yeah, it was like nine or 10. Yeah, we missed a workout. And uh, we just got really busy that day. And by the time we realized we hadn't done it, it was just too late, we were depleted. So we decided to move day 10's workout to the day after the last day. So day 15, we called it. And so we continued with the rest of the workout. And basically we just went one day longer than we needed to, but we wanted to do the workout in its entirety and we didn't want to mess up our results. So. And that made it so much worse. <laughs> no, I am so think bad. Well, day 10's workout was the same as day 14's workout. So it was the same four videos, both days in a row. And they were like the mm. hardest videos for us. What was your least favorite video? Mm. I don't mind right off the top of my head. Lower body burn. Yeah, probably lower body burn. I hated that one. I like the 11 have... ab. Yeah, 11 line up. Yeah, it's because I have thick thighs and thick shins and I can't control them. I can't do fire hydrants and rainbows. I can do them, I don't like squats. I'm not a fan of squats. I love squats, I was fine with the squats. That's nice, that's nice. Let's cut to some footage from the last couple days of the workout. We were really losing motivation, but we just wanted to get through it. You know, just take a breath, so. I have some footage, I'll throw it in. Um, it was maybe like halfway through the challenge. I went on a run and it was a lot easier than I expected it to be because of the thigh muscle I built up, so. Okay guys, so it's day nine of Chloe Ting. Um, it's a rest day, so I decided to go for a run. And you know what? Like, it was a lot easier than I expected. I felt my muscles working like so much easier. I was able to walk. Oh, this car is staring at me. Sorry about this, guys. I'm in it. Ooh, I look like a potato. Anyways, I realized I could run a lot longer than it normally could before having to like stop and walk. And I also realized there's this big hill that I like to go up. It really works my thigh muscles. And it didn't even hurt my thighs at all. Like it did, which is crazy because last time I did it, which was like two weeks ago, it burned so bad. So yeah. Excuse me, sir, I'm vlogging. Anyways, my rest day went really, really well. Oh, do you like my shirt? Jesus be dope though. I might even do another coating video because I felt like it really, like I'm not a person who does cardio. I get very bored and really, I can't breathe. But this one I felt like was really good of working my entire body. And I didn't get like so winded that I felt like I was dying. We were gonna have an asthma attack. Yeah, and it was pretty good because there was workouts we couldn't do like, um, what was done at the beginning? Reverse crunches. Yeah, at the beginning I couldn't do the reverse crunches, so I just did regular crunches until I had built up the muscle mm -hmm. to be able to do that. Oh, we almost forgot. How much weight did you lose? Oh, I lost a pound and a half. Is that like normal for you? Do you fluctuate like that? Um, I feel like I usually fluctuate more down, but also I feel like I gained a ton of muscle in this time, so it's like, and I also ate horribly. Like we've been house sitting, so I've been eating out a lot. Also fast food. Press. So to lose a pound and a half, I think was pretty good, yeah. considering how awful I was. Like I was having pizza every day, McDonald's. Like it was awful. So I lost three and a half pounds, which is okay for me. I typically in two weeks I probably would have lost like five pounds, but I know I'm getting muscle, so I'm okay with it. Yeah, like I can visually see a difference in my body, so like I'm not that mad about yeah, it. Yeah, I can visually but... and. Physically, like when I'm moving around doing stuff, I can feel, I feel stronger. And my jeans are looser. Yeah, that like was a big thing. My jeans fit so much better. Yeah, we're EMTs and we have like these big cargo pants that we have to wear. Have cargo pants. And I literally had to get new ones. They stopped, they literally fell. <laughs> like that's how well this worked is I had to buy new pants. So. If you guys have done any of the Chloe Ting challenges, comment down below, let us know yeah. what you thought of them. Did you get good results? And also, if you want us to try another Chloe Ting app challenge, let us know. Yeah. I know she has like 
30 day ones. She has yeah, like, encourage us in the comments because I kind of want to do it. Because like making this video made me more motivated. So I'm a very unmotivated person when I about working out. I'm just a lazy person. Mm -hmm. So yeah, yeah. Well, if you guys like this type of content with the working out, with the fitness, let us know. I think we'll be posting a little bit more like this. But if you guys totally hate it, we yeah, I'm sorry. It. Um, but we hope you guys enjoyed this video. We enjoyed doing Chloe Ting as much as we despised the videos. I actually, ultimately, it was a good thing we did them. I give it a five out of six pack. Oh, that was good. I give it, um, I gotta say, I give it like 13 out of 14 days. <laughs> really though, like I really would, like I would probably do it again. It was, as much as I hated it, it really did show results. Like I'm thinking about, um, in the workout challenge, there's two videos that you have to do every single day, mm -hmm. except on the rest days. I'm thinking about just adding those into my cardio routine because they're actually worked lots of muscles, not just your abs, but like your whole body. And I really like them, so. I feel like I'm not portraying enough of how much of <laughs> like, a couch potato I am. I literally, I never like leave the couch. Like, like I'm such a lazy person. And those person. like little checkbox things you write like sedentary. What? You don't know what that means? No. It's like when you're like filling out a form and it's like, how active are you? Sedentary, works out one to two days a week. Lowly active, works out three to four days a week. Very active, works out five to six I, days a week. Yeah, I maybe go for a walk. I make it up to the pool and I tan. <laughs> you tan. Um, I work out six to seven days a week. Yeah, I never work out. So like, I want you guys to, if you're debating about doing this and you're a lazy person, do it. Do it. Because it's only two weeks and it really motivates you to keep going. And I highly recommend doing it with a partner. Yeah. And they really keep you accountable and it keeps it fun and you're not just dying. And you have time. someone to yell at when you're upset. Okay, I think that's it for today's video. Well, we hope you guys enjoy. Yeah, if you want to see more stuff like this, comment down below. If you try this challenge, let us know how it worked out for you. And please give us a like for all of our pain. For all of it. For all the 15 days of pain and two rest days of pain. No, we made it through rest days of pain. Um, nonetheless, I'm glad we did it and I'm glad Chloe Ting has this program out there free. Like, I'm totally plugging her channel. Like, she provides so much she content for plug. free. And she's literally like a robot. Like, she doesn't sweat. She doesn't grunt. Like, she just keeps going. You should have heard the noises that were coming from her workout room. It was an atrocity. So, yeah, I literally screamed when I, I my mat slipped and I fell face down. <laughs> and I screamed like bloody murder. It was quite the show. It scared me. It, yeah, it was bad. So, we hope you guys enjoyed. And we'll see you next time. Yeah. I'm Danielle. I'm Renee from St. Evolution. Signing, signing off. Bye, Bye guys. guys.